So what do you think? Well, obviously the liposuction sites became infected following the procedure. I take it you weren't given prophylactic antibiotics? D during and immediately after? Uh, no. Um, I should have been, shouldn't I? Well, it's advisable, but given prompt treatment, the infection should have cleared up in no time. Except my surgeon, Marvin, my ex, took off and it was a while before I realised what was happening back there. Took off? We had a bit of a tiff. So, the infection took hold, hence the extensive scarring. Just tell me you can fix it. Uh, scar revision is an option, but it wouldn't come cheap. I won't put a price on my self-esteem. Mum, be realistic. You're not exactly... Thank you, Brooke. I'd rather hear from a more experienced, more successful doctor than you. Annette, I would love to say that I could make this all go away, but in my professional opinion, you shouldn't have more surgery. But why? Marvin was a cowboy and Brooke says you're the best there is. I'm not expecting you to make it all go away, but I know you can make it look so much better than it does. I can't at all guarantee that I can make this sort of improvements you're after. I'm sorry. Mum, Mum. Sorry, I know this is a bad time for her to get news like that. No, better the truth than false hope. And she's a survivor. She's come this far. Well, I'll have to go straight from work, but I might be a bit late. Well, Nugent will just have to learn to like it. I have to go. How's the food launch coming along? It would be better if I could find Gerald. I need him to print off the menus, but he's not at his desk. Uh, he's just popped out to check on Karen. He should be back any minute. I'll send him your way as soon as I see him. Better still, could you pass this on to him? The file is called Shorten Street Menu. No problem. Thanks a lot. Time for that coffee yet? I'm just on my way to the wholesalers, but definitely later. Excuse me. That didn't sound like a work thing. No, it's not. Ah, I thought I was picking up on a vibe at Zoe's the other day. Early days, nothing to report. But you like her? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, good luck. I hope it works out. Thank you. Um, if you have something to say, you can say it there. Right. Well, I just came to say sorry. So, sorry. That's it. One word and I'm supposed to welcome you back with open arms after all the hurtful things you've done. Okay, I was dumb. I did some lame stuff that was pretty rough on you. But we both know I had my reasons. Daniel, I'm your mother and I love you. None of this changes that, but if I let this go, I'm agreeing to be target practice every time life doesn't work out for you. And I'm not prepared to do that anymore. Chris is one of the best in the business. He knows what he's talking about. He did say there could be an improvement. But he advises against surgery. He gave you a professional, ethical opinion. As a favour to me, I might add. Well, you'd be the reason he was overly cautious. Another one of your failed relationships? There are other ways that you can boost your self-esteem. Ways that you can afford, like, like a new haircut. With ideas like that, no wonder your clinic went bust. I'm just trying to help. I've told you, surgery is the only thing going to help. Right. How are you planning to pay for it? That's oh, obvious, isn't it? Not to me. You've put down a tidy sum to get me into rehab. You've got back your deposit. That would cover the first instalment. You need rehab a hundred times more than you need cosmetic surgery. I thought my own flesh and blood would care about me enough to help me find happiness. That is not fair. I'm trying to make... If you make me go to rehab, you'll be throwing your money away. I'll come out hating myself just as much as when I went in. And we both know where that will lead. Zoe. Isaac, try some one day. Huh. I just wondered how you were getting on. Uh, with the food launch? It's mad. I meant with Chris. Oh. He's been fantastic. Such a help. I'd never have made it this far without him. Well, you know, I meant what I said. 
consider me available if you need me. Zoe, sorry, uh, this menu launch. Yes, come in. Uh, thanks. I might call you. I've been told the new food is on for tomorrow, but I've heard nothing about it. Not since those early suggested menus. What am I meant to tell my nurses? Okay, major communication breakdown, obviously between us. We all thought someone else was briefing you. In that case, can you make the next handover in an hour? I'll be there. Ta-da! Hot off the press. Oh, you're a star. Hang on. Grilled fish with wild rice salad. That's... that's wrong. It's all wrong. No, it can't be. There was only one file marked Shorten Street menu. I must have saved an old version. Okay, I'll race home, get the file, get back here to brief the nurses, and then beg the printers to rush it through for me today. TK. I apologise to Sarah. Good. So, can I come stay at yours now? Well, hang on, how'd it go? What? The apology. Oh, okay. So, not great? Well, I said sorry. It's not my fault she didn't believe me. Right, so the answer to your question is, no, you can't stay. But I did what you said, I apologise. Yeah, and we both know why she didn't believe you, Daniel, because if you don't mean it, it's not an apology. Well, I can't make myself, can I? No, but until you make peace with your mum, you're on your own. You called. Everything's turned to custard. Why? I gave Gerald an old draft of the menu to take to the printers. Most of these... Completely wrong. So you pay extra for fast turnaround and then you're back on track, right? Except I forgot to brief the nurses. I'm due there any minute. But I also need to make sure that this version of the, of the menu is correct. I can't do both. So you want me to talk to the nurses for you? I had to ask. I know you're busy. Nothing that can't wait? The basics of the menu are in here. Do you think you understand it well enough to answer questions? Let's see. The lamptogene with quinoa is gluten and dairy-free. There is also a pumpkin and aubergine option available for vegetarians and vegans. Yeah? Thank you. I bet it will carry weight with the nursing staff hearing about the new menu from the hospital's top surgeon. My only condition is that we still have coffee soon. I'd like that. Imagine getting butchered by your own boyfriend. She just wanted to hear him say that she was beautiful. How bad are the scars? Bad. Maybe she's right. Maybe rehab won't work if her self-esteem is still dragging along the ground. I overheard you and your mother talking in the cafeteria. She has a drinking problem? Well, it takes one to know one. Yeah, it does. Do you want to hear what a fellow addict thinks? She should go to rehab and deal with the other issues later. Well, I know, I always feel better when I look my best. Maybe the scars should be the first problem to be fixed. Though I'm not even sure that they can be fixed. Even if they could, she'd move on to the next thing. Say her cat dies or her boyfriend stops returning her calls, she'll find another excuse to drink. Well, that's a no to the surgery then. Bag's not telling her. Realistically, she'll hate you for it. But if you hang in there and force her to face up to this, then the day will come when she thanks you. 